Hello developers. Today we are going to learn how to generate your own music using Meta's Music Gen. By the end of this video, you will have a working model that you can customize and use in your own projects. We will be using a candy kit to build this solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy one click install kit gives you ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more on candy. Today we will be using a popular candy kit which is music gen one click install kit. This kit is open source and comes with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands on walkthrough. Hello, hope you are excited to generate your own music using Meta's music gen. To build this application, we will use an open source deep learning language model, music gen to generate new music based on text prompts and also using existing song. Also, you would be using melody as a pre-trained model here. So everything that you need is already available in the candy kit. Over the next few minutes, we will cover three key aspects in this video. First, download and installation of the kit. Second, a simple code snippet exercise. And third, demonstration of the kit solution source. Let's start by installing the kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. You can set up a working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisite and resources onto your system. You can check out the deployment information here and click on this one click installer to set the kit up. So click on the one click installer. This will download a zip file. Just say show in folder. Extract the contents of this zip file. Double click the folder, double click on the music generation batch file. Say more info, run anyway. This will start setting up the required prerequisites and everything onto your systems. You can pause the video, finish the setup and resume back again. Once the kit is successfully set up, you would see this kit is set up at C Candy Kids Music Generation. Go ahead and just say yes and a Jupyter Notebook will automatically open to you. Before we go ahead and discuss this kit, let us do a simple code snippet exercise. For that, I will open a new notebook and also head on to candy.openevo.com. So I want to do a simple code snippet exercise to change voice. So I'll make a search accordingly. Change voice in PyTTSX3. So that is a library that is specifically used for changing voice. So I'll make a search and then simply move to code snippets and check out the various snippets that are available here. Copy the one that looks most relevant. Paste it in this notebook here. Paste it and then I would just try and play it. So this requires uh, also downloading the module file T S T T S X three. I can simply go back. I see the dependent library. I can copy it from here, add it right away with uh, exclamation mark here and say control enter. This will start downloading this library and then I can suitably run this code. And I can see that uh, the engine dot say whatever has been written as a message in this would be spoken both a male as well as a female voice. I could also say hello world. Hello dear programmers. And we run the code. Yeah. So we can get the two voices uh, for male and female both using a very simple library called PyTSX3. Now let's get back to our Jupyter Notebook. Let's now go ahead and understand what is happening in our Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, we are doing all the necessary imports for libraries such as AudioCraft, 
where we will find our music gen uh, library for, through which we will actually get a pre-trained model called mini melody and then to be able to write the audio onto a file we are importing the audio right similarly torch audio and gradio for the web interface and import warnings to suppress the warnings further we get down and load the pre-trained model called melody and then set up the usual parameters for sampling top k and duration so we can change this but then the model accordingly takes more time uh, to generate music currently we have set it to five seconds then uh, you see that we have mentioned two set of uh, conditions one is through text we want to generate the audio on music and another is we would also want to provide the melody or music itself so one thing is the text description which is part of uh, the generate from text function gen from text and the duration that you can mention here and then we set the usual parameters right like the sampling we set to true and duration that we have already mentioned at the top here so then you uh, whatever is being generated that's uh, what is being passed as audio values and we get the returned outcome into a form of a numpy array similarly when we uh, get uh, into this function called gen from audio here also we pass three parameters apart from the previous description and duration we also add a melody or a music mp3 file here and usual parameter setting is as per before we then load this melody and extract the waveform of it and after that we try to generate and use the generate with chroma to get the audio values based on this form melody or the music form that we have uh, uploaded so that with the help of this audio we are able to generate a music accordingly the same is being returned as a numpy array then is this is gradio which is used to set up the interface that will that is used to get uh, the input in the form of text etc set up the duration and all and then uh, based on the numpy array that is being provided the music is being accordingly generated so the two interfaces are present one is when we are uploading an audio another one is when we are giving it just in the form of a text so then you get a tabbed interface with both the conditional uh, you know text conditional and the melody conditional so let us just uh, now try inputting a text and check accordingly how uh, are we get, going to get you know the result so i would give it a input text as classic reggae track with an electronic guitar solo and then go ahead and submit my request for generation of music so this will take a couple of minutes we'll wait for it to generate the required music let us now check the music that has been generated by playing it i guess this is an interesting one that has been generated through our ai with, with a good amount of uh, ram as well as uh, CPU configuration that will help you generate the music more instantly. So let us now check the second uh, option that is available where you can upload a music of your own and then give a text accordingly. Let's say I would just use the sample music file and I'll just play it and show what it has. <laughs> So this is the melody and then I would want to change or let's say I want it in a classical Indian music form and I can just say submit and wait for it to get generated. So here we have the generated outcome. I'll just play it and we'll see. So you could just hear that uh, we transformed this music, this fast, mu you know, fast moving music into a complete classical form of sort. So I hope this was interesting. You can change the duration, reduce it, increase it. Uh, 
and it should be a good you know demo i would believe that you would be able to use and generate music similarly also download it if you would like onto your systems hope this was helpful thank you so much hope you found this session useful you can find the link to the music gen kit and many other ready to use kits in the description of this video head over to candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality artificial intelligence blockchain gaming and many more try out candy kits now hit that subscribe button and join us at the open weaver community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects thank you for watching this session till the next one bye bye